We're at the halfway mark of the season now, and I'm doing my picks for each conference winners. At the AFC North, I have the New England Patriots with an 11-5 record. Their defense has gotten a lot better, and Tom Brady is having a great year with 15, 15 TDs, 2 interceptions. Their off offense is averaging 426 yards a game. Defense, 439 uh, yards allowed, 28 points per game. Buffalo Bills, 10-6. and six. Surprisingly, They're doing surprisingly good this year. Tyrod Taylor, 7 TDs, 2 interceptions. Offense is only averaging 314 yards, though. Defense allowing 355 yards a game. 20 points per game and 17 points a game allowed, so their defense isn't playing too great. At, at the AFC North, I have the Steelers with an 11-5 record. Their defense has been playing it fantastic. 369 yards uh, average on offense and only 284 yards allowed on defense average. Ben Roethlisberger isn't having the greatest year. 9 TDs, 8 interceptions. Le'Veon Bell... Four touchdowns, 684 uh, yards, no fumbles. The Ravens, uh, they've had their ups and downs. They've gone, they've blown out some teams and gotten blown out there. I have them with a 9-7 and seven record. Flacco is throwing six TDs to eight interceptions, which isn't great. 1,200 yards, 280, 95 yards a, a game on offense, and 331 yards allowed on defense. AFC South, I have the Jaguars. At number one, 11 and five, their defense is one of the best in the league. Blake Bortis is playing pretty good with nine TDs, five interceptions, 1,300 yards. Fournette is having a fantastic rookie season, six TDs, almost 400 yards, and their defense is only allowing 329 yards a, uh, in a game. Tennessee Titans, 10 and six record. Uh, they're a bit pretty balanced team. Marcus Mariota isn't having a great season, four TDs, four interceptions, 1,300 yards. Their offense is averaging 333 yards. A game and their defense is averaging 340 yards allowed. AFC East, I have the number one Chiefs with a 12 and 4 record. They started off really strong. They've had two losses uh, back to back these past few weeks. Alex Smith having a great year, 15 touchdowns, zero interceptions, 900 yards, 1900 yards. Definitely an MVP candidate. And Kareem Hunt is having another great year, 17, 717 yards, four TDs. Tyree Kill. Uh, with three TDs. At, no, at number two, I have the Raiders. They started off kind of bumpy. They lost a few games. They didn't have Derek Carr. Derek Carr came back in 11 TDs, four interceptions, 1,300 yards. Amari Cooper has three TDs. They're averaging 322 yards a game and 370 yards allowed on defense. NFC East, e Eagles, they're, I think they're the best team in the league. I think they're going to go 13-3. Carson Wentz is, is the MVP candidate. 17 TDs, four interceptions. Their O line is playing great. They did just lose Jason Peters, and their defense, uh, their offense is averaging 396 yards a game, 358 uh, yards allowed a game with for their defense. Of uh, the Cowboys, Ezekiel Elliott started off slow. They're getting better. Their defense is getting better as well. Dak Prescott is having a great year, 14 TDs, four interceptions, and they're then they're averaging 385 yards a game, 363 yards allowed a game. Uh, NFC North, I have the Vikings with a 12 and 4 record. They they have a great defense. Case Kingdom is playing uh, playing great with five TDs, two interceptions, much better than expected. 1300 yards. Dalvin Cook has two touchdowns. Their offense is averaging 368 yards a game and 304 yards allowed. Number two, I have the Lions with a 10 and 6 record. They're a pretty balanced team. Matthew Stafford is having a good year with 12 TDs, four interceptions, 1400 yards. Their offense is only averaging 322 yards, though, and their defense is averaging 354 yards a game. NFC South, I have the I have number one, Saints, with an 11-5 record. That's pretty surprising. Their defense has gotten a lot better, uh, better than it's been in years, and Drew Brees is having a pretty decent year with 11 TDs, 4 interceptions, 1,600 yards. Mark Ingram, 3 TDs, 400 yards, and their offense is averaging 370 yards a game and allowing... Barely any yards. Uh, number two, I have the Falcons uh, with a nine and seven record. My, Matt Ryan is not playing near as uh, near as good as he did last year. Seven TDs, six interceptions, sixteen hundred yards. Freeman is, has five TDs with four hundred yards uh, allowed per game and four hundred fifty yards uh, per game on offense. NFC West. This is the last uh, conference. I have at number one the Seahawks over the Rams. Russell Wilson is having a great year with 11 TDs, three interceptions, and their defense is playing fantastic. Uh, you know, Russell Wilson has 1,500 yards, and they, uh, they're only averaging 316 yards a game on defense, and their offense is averaging 367 yards a game. 
At number two, I have the Rams. Either one of these could take uh, each other's place. I have them both with an 11 and five record. I think with the Seahawks uh, having some wins over the Rams, they're going to get the number one spot. Jared Goff is having a much better year this year, and their defense is playing great. Jared Goff, nine TDs, four uh, interceptions, 1,700 yards. Todd Gurley having a great year, 